Skilled migrants accounted for 45% of all permanent arrivals to Australia in 2005-2006. In comparison, family stream migrants accounted for 26% and humanitarian program migrants contributed 9%. Suppose a government department is conducting a follow-up study and randomly selects 60 migrants who arrived in the period above. Our first question, part A, is what is the probability that more than half of the people in the sample are skilled migrants? So the probability we want relates to a sample proportion P and so specifically we want to find the probability that our sample proportion is greater than 0.5 more than 50%, more than half. And to be able to find this probability, we therefore need to know the distribution of P. Since P refers to the sampling distribution of the sample proportion, we can use the theory that links the population to the sampling distribution to find the distribution of P. The sampling distribution of P will be approximately normal with the mean of the sampling distribution the same as the population mean and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution also linked to pi as well as n such that the standard deviation of our sampling distribution is the square root of pi times 1 minus pi over n. The sample size of 60 is given in the question, but for population proportion pi, we have to read a bit more carefully since the question refers to several different populations, including that for skilled migrants, family stream and the humanitarian program. As our part A question relates to skilled migrants, the population proportion we want is 45%, which is 0.45 as a decimal. Since we therefore know pi equals 0.45 and n equals 60, we know the mean of the sampling distribution is 0.45 and by substituting into our equation for standard deviation of the sampling distribution, we can calculate the standard deviation to be 0.064. At this point, it almost doesn't matter what our distribution P represents. We know P is normally distributed with a mean of 0.45 and a standard deviation of 0.064 and so finding a probability from the distribution is now just a normal distribution calculation problem. We can convert to Z by subtracting the mean from our 0.5 cutoff and then dividing by standard deviation and we find that the probability P being greater than 0.5 is therefore the same as finding Z greater than 0.78. We use the Z tables to find Z less than 0.78 and then subtract this from 1 to get the greater than probability, giving a final answer of 0.2177. It is a similar technique for part B. What is the probability that less than 5% of the people in the sample arrive through the humanitarian program? And so we want to find the probability that P is less than 0.05, but this time it is with respect to the humanitarian program. And so we go through the same technique, but here our population proportion pi is going to be 9%, since that was our figure for the humanitarian program. And of course 9% is just 0 0.09 as a decimal. Knowing the correct pi, we can once again find the mean and standard deviation of the corresponding sampling distribution such that our sampling distribution has a mean of 0 0.09 and a standard deviation of 0 0.037. To solve our probability question, specifically the probability that p is less than 0 0.05, we convert to z and use the tables to give a final probability 